All right, welcome back to Canva Creatives Hub. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to uh, create educational coloring pages. And that's specific for like teachers and elementary students where you would be giving them some coloring pages. Uh, maybe they finished their test or an assignment and you want them to be working on something and you want it to be theme based. So like Valentine's Day is coming up. So perhaps we want to create some Valentine's Day coloring pages with hearts and things like that. So let's go and do some research real quick. So we come in here and what I would do is come over here to a site called Teachers Pay Teachers. I do have an account over here. I do make money on this, a couple hundred bucks a month from work I did years ago, and I still make money like clockwork. So this is the most passive income that you can make once you actually start creating these and getting some good quality designs up on the page. But what would you do is oh, come over here, coloring pages, Valentine's. And this was actually a keyword that was inside of here. So now we're looking at coloring pages, Valentine's, and we can come down and I don't think AI is going to do very well at creating these sight words, mystery pictures and so forth. Maybe at some point we'll be able to create these, these ones right over here as well. <clears throat> but when we come down here and just look at simple coloring pages that can still be educational right over here, we can look at this design right over here. We can click on that, open it up. This thing has almost 2000 ratings, 4.9 stars. This is one of the top sellers is regarding coloring pages on TPT, but we can go and we can look at this and just get a an idea of what this looks like all right so there's simple uh, designs right just really simple designs you can create these in canva and i'm going to go ahead and we're going to go and look and see if we can get some like heart designs right over here or something like that but just to get some inspiration don't copy but just get to get some inspiration on what's selling and so we can come over here and let's just say if we can create maybe six or seven hearts and go and do that. What we would do is we would come into Canva and what I would do is come over here to create design and then I would go into the flyer. Eight, eight and a half by 11 is going to work the best for teachers because they generally have regular sized paper and that is what you're going to wanna to create your designs on. So they can just quickly print them, right? But one of the other tips that I have is that when we go in here and we want to go into, let's say apps, you want to go into apps and then you want to go into your apps and then use this magic right here, magic media, because then look, you get the aspect ratio option. You only get the aspect ratio option when you go in the app itself like that. If you just go to elements and then go down to generate your own, a lot of times this is missing, believe it or not. Right now it's showing, but a lot of times the aspect ratio is missing. I can show you that and prove to you that it's missing. After you create a design, it's going to not give you an option to change that. So you'd have to go back over to the app section in order to get to that, okay? But right now we're in this fresh, let me show you some of the designs I've been messing around with and creating right over here, some really nice designs. We're gonna go and see if we can get some of these. And we gotta use multiple tools in order to make this happen. We might need to use the Canva erase function, the remove background function and so forth. But let's go and see what we can do over here. And if you just do the obvious and just say, hey, Valentine's heart, something like that, it's going to, let's just do that. So Valentine's day heart, black and white uh, coloring page. Right, so if you just do like the obvious. Now I have fooled around with the styles and I will just give you the quick tip right now that it seems that concept art actually works the best. When we're over here and we try to use, I thought playful would be really good for like clip art and stuff, but it's gonna be between playful and concept art, but I find that concept art is working the best for me with the images. Now we're on this portrait area, so you're gonna wanna go with portrait design right here. We've got our prompt in there and just say generate image right here. And then we'll wait and we'll come right back. Okay, so you can see that they are coming in. They actually are really cool, but they it looks more like it would be for adults. So we would come and put this over here and you can use the boundary. I have the bleed set that might be nice for from a printing standpoint to not have it go all the way over. And so what I do is I just drag this all the way over and then you double click inside here and you can adjust this the way you want. 
And usually I just go with the top kind of like that. And there you go. But this is not necessarily black and white, right? We might be able to move, remove the background, but it's just not going to work quite what we're looking for, right? All these have color in them, right? So I've fooled around with this a little bit and messed around with some different prompts right over here that I can show you. And after messing around with it for a while, concept art seems to work the best for coloring pages in Canva, coloring page, clip art elementary. So we can try these different prompts out that I've created along the way with just messing around with this. So we can go in here and see if this coloring page, clip art, elementary, kids, line art, Valentine's Day, heart, black and white. This one did pretty well. We'll go with concept art and we'll say generate again. Now, perhaps it doesn't give us the option to change once we're inside of here and we've already selected the size of portrait mode, maybe that's, I'm gonna try something different real quick here in a minute. But these ones look pretty good, right? So we'll just go and make a new page and you'd be able to go in here and these are pretty good. They're not 100% uh, black and white, right? There's a little bit of a, a tinting in the background, but you could definitely um, argue this is a great coloring page right here, a little cute girl right here, and you would be able to color this and so forth. So that's pretty good. And then we have right over here, I said a heart. So then we have some a different, we have a heart on each page. Maybe this one's pretty cool too. And so we would come and look at this one as well. So I drag that one all the way down. It's not quite the same size that we want, but all we do is just drag and drop and make adjustments. So this one has some little funky stuff going on. Not really sure if I would use this one or not. It's wrapped in a box or a, a, a book or something. So weird. But so you just have to keep generating. And sometimes you might take three or four generations and create, you know, 10 to 15 of these. And then you finally get one really good one. That kind of has been going on, has been the case. Now I want to test something out. If we come over here and we go back to apps and then we go back up here and select that, we no, we don't. So once we select inside of here, a soft, if you ever want to change it back to landscape or something like that, you're going to have to open up a new creation in a new tab. It, uh, Canva just has it set up for some reason where you're not able to change the size when you've already selected portrait or landscape or square. So let's go and look at a couple of these other ones, right? So I started changing this a little bit. Coloring page, clip art, elementary kids, line art, Valentine's Day, heart, black and white, no background, only one heart. So let's go and try and see if we can get a little bit better with this one right here. So we just come in here, we change the prompt a little bit, specifying only one heart, concept art, and generate again. Let's see what it comes up with for us on this one. All right, so let's go look at this first one right over here. So you can see it's doing a little bit better by the prompting that we're giving it. It's doing a lot better as far as that this is more for kids. It's definitely black and white. That one looks a lot better. Now what you could do is start getting more fancy with it. Like right over here, we could also go and add another page and maybe just go with the hearts right here. So maybe we want to go with, I like this one with the that's darker. Actually, no, I don't like that one because the background is not white, but this one, the background is white and it really looks like someone hand drew these. And that's what I really, it's gonna stand out. And then what you can do is you can come over here, click on the image, go to edit photo, and then go to magic eraser. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to make this a little easier, especially if this is for, depending on what age group this is for. But if this is for younger kids, then, whoops, you won't, I don't know why there's a blue and a white line, but you'll see that we can come in here and adjust this and get rid of a lot of these lines that just make it a little bit more difficult to color because there's multiple layers going on, right? So we'd be able to go like that and remove that, it's, you're gonna wanna maybe sharpen your brush, make it smaller, and continue getting rid of these lines. Uh, like It's going to take a little bit of work, but if you think about it, <clears throat> you're, this is where your artistry is going to come in. This is where uh, using AI, it's not gonna be able to get you 100% there. But if you take the time, we go with brush size, make this smaller, and we come in here and we start, uh, you can zoom in as well. You could zoom in on this, but this is where you're going to come in and remove that line right there to make it just easier to color. And, and sometimes it doesn't take it all off. So you're going to have to do it again like that and so forth. But then you have this nice piece of art that you can go and, and sell on places like TPT, which is an educational platform. So I'm going to go back right here and let's go back to our element and we'll go back to our generate our own. 
and a couple of those I don't some of them they just come out weird so we'll just skip it but then it gets even better so then we can come through here and start looking at one down here where I have this one right over here that is a good one black and white heart cute simple design flat vector 2d design illustration graphic copy and we'll go and throw this in so this is where the prompt testing comes in until you can find a prompt that is giving you the type of design that you're looking for i'm looking more specifically for a clip art design right when we come back up over here and look at the coloring pages that we're trying to create they're more like clip art they're black and white clip art basically and then you're just throwing them on a page like and so that's what we're looking for at creating and so this is getting us a lot closer to what we want right so then now we can go like this and let me show you the trick it's finally giving us like the art that we're looking for now i can left click on this and i can go to edit photo i can go to background remover right here and then we just got rid of the background and then what we would do is we would come in here we would click this right here, we would edit the photo, and then we would do an erase right here. And let's just say we wanna erase this right there, and we wanna erase that little tiny heart right there, and there's some shadowing going on, so maybe we want to get rid of that in a second as well. Let's let it do that for us right there. And then what we would do is we would go back over here and we would zoom in quite a bit, and then we would click on it and we would go background magic re re eraser again, and then we would make this a little bit smaller, the brush. And then we would come through and we would very carefully remove the gray line like so. And I keep coming through here, right here. So I'm using my mouse. It is a little tricky, but we will get it done. And you could always do multiple tries at it. And you could do it in multiple, not all in one section like I did just now. We're going to remove that. And it got rid of it. Check that out. So now if we don't like the, the black part right there, then we would just go ahead and also now we're using our own kind of skills to get rid of that dark spot right there, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a lot further and then we're going to continue with working our way down right here. I messed up right there. So then what I would do is we would just let it do its thing. And then we would do an undo on that, right? But we're getting rid of all this, right? We're getting rid of all this extra black right here. And let me just zoom through this kind of. So I zipped through that, but you get the point. Some of these you're going to have to fix. And that one kind of messed up really bad. I'm going to go back right here and then probably just do it back, right? So you can always come back to it, right? But that's what you would do, and then we could come through, and then eventually you would have your nice heart, and then you could come over here and start looking at some other ones, like right over here. This is pretty cool. Maybe we wanna go over here and remove the background on this one as well, and then use the eraser to get rid of the rest, and then you would be um, left with that heart right there. And then the other one that I wanted to show you was this last one that I got a really good result with, that I basically change maybe smile, face, heart, right? Because we're looking at the design here and it's different smiley faces and things like that, right? So maybe we want to come in here and we want to give it this prompt right over here, control V and generate right here and see what it comes up with for us. So there's one, there's a really good one right there. So check that out. We can grab that. We can go to edit photo. We finally got a really good one. We can go and remove the background and now we have this really nice one that we can go right here. And so this is an AI generated one, right? So we could come over here, we could maybe move this around, make it big like that. And then we have, so I would say we got one really good one right there. And then you just keep using this and you can create these really cool pieces of art. You can, and right here, if you want to uh, say sad face, you would just change smile to sad face heart, something like that, right? But then check it out. The magic behind this is using a combination of graphics that are always already available and AI graphics. Now we can come over here to elements and we could just say heart, let's just say clip art heart, something like that and go to graphics. And then we could go in here and start finding some different pieces of clip art that we can go in here and change the color. And we might not be able to use this one because it's only one color right there. If you make, if that makes sense, 
if we turn it to white, you won't be able to see it, but we'll be able to come in here and find some of these. Like here's one right here. You could use that right there. You can go and find these and put them in there and you could use what Canva has in order to create some very unique coloring pages. And that way you're using AI clip art and you're also using some of the graphics that are already done for you in here as well. So hopefully that gets you started with creating some really cool educational type coloring pages like clip art and things like that that you could actually go and upload on TPT, Etsy, other shops like that. I'm going to keep messing around and find the perfect prompts and I'm going to continue to keep sharing them with you. So you want to make sure to subscribe to this channel so I can continue to bring this kind of content to you. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.